Okay, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I annotate my books. So before I get into the products I use to annotate my books, I'm going to go through a couple books that I already annotated that were before I had an annotation system. So the first book I annotated was Ellen Hopkins' People Kill People. So as you can see, um, it's annotated, obviously. And in this one, Orange means character connections, yellow means gun owner, um, pink means gun fear, green means racism, and blue means motive for owning a gun. So, and then all these big blue tabs are comments I made, like, to the characters or my reactions to what the characters were doing because I wasn't comfortable writing in my book. The next book I annotated was It by Stephen King. Um, I annotated this for a review that I promise is coming. I just have yet to film it. Um, so, But in this one, I didn't put at the beginning what everything meant. Uh, green is any time I had a comment um, about what was happening. Um, let's see what red was. Red was anytime they saw something that it was making them see um purple was kids that went missing that weren't like part of the losers club or weren't like georgie um yellow is <laughs> oh them like as adults talking about everything um and i think that's also what blue means or blue is backstory for everyone um so that's how I annotated it and I wish I had put a key in the front so I didn't have to flip through this video and then this last I stopped annotating um right here just because I was more involved in the story at this point and I just yeah. the next book I annotated without a system was Illuminae um, I still have yet to finish Illuminae um, and this was a buddy read so basically these tabs don't mean anything they're basically just things that I found interesting and wanted to discuss with my buddy um, so I only have six tabs seven tabs um, in here and they're not even all the same tab so Okay, now getting into what I use. So, so I write in my books, so I keep all of my pens in here. This is like a knockoff Muji pencil case that I got off AliExpress. I'll link it in the description below if you want one. It's pretty small and doesn't hold all my pens, but... So I use the Tri Gel pens, the Neon Gel pens. I got these literally for like a dollar. There was like a ton in a pack. Um, and basically these don't bleed through the pages which is why I'm so fond of them they don't bleed um, basically if you want and they're all color coded and I'll get into my color coding system next um, but if you want pens that don't bleed I highly recommend using gel pens um, they dry quickly and they just they don't smear and they're just perfect the next thing I use to annotate is my pen and gear sticky tabs. You can buy these at Walmart for like a dollar. Um, and they come with five colors, which for me is enough. I know a lot of people use like eight colors and that's like a lot for me. And I don't need that much, so I just use these. And I always keep extra. I have even more of these in my desk drawer. Um, but yeah. So going on to my annotating system, um, these I used to write on like these thick post-it notes or on like big post-it notes because I didn't want to write in my books but I got over not writing in my books by reading a book I knew I wasn't going to like and writing in that so I'll get into that later but um, my color coding system goes green is for spells charms world specific vocab and then blue is for miscellaneous and funny things Yellow is for characters, so anytime a new character is mentioned, I underline it and put the tab in it. And then pink is for cute stuff like kissing or romance. And this also includes like friendship stuff. Like if I find some a part of a friendship really cute, I'll highlight it and put a tab. Um, and then orange is my favorite quotes from a book. So yeah, that's my system. So on to how I got over writing in my books. So I picked up this book to do a rant review on it, and that is After by Anna Todd. Um, 
Paperback Dreams inspired me to do it because she did a rant review on it and I was like that's really awesome and this book sounds awful so I want to read it. Um, as you can see I made it a little less than halfway through before I gave up because it was so bad. It was written awfully. The book is like once you've read half of it you've read the whole book because it's just the same stuff over and over again and there's like three more of these. Um, but I got over writing in my books because I didn't care about this book so I started, I don't know if you can see, I started Started writing notes in it about things I wanted to say in my review or just reactions to characters and their horrible decisions um, so I just got over writing in my book by doing that the first book I actually started using this annotation system on was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone I only use this annotation system on rereads and books that I know I'm going to enjoy because I don't want to annotate a book and then be like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore and then stop annotating or I don't want to start reading a book and then be halfway through it and then want to annotate it. So I just do it on rereads. Um, I'm going to go to a pink tab to give you a example of cute friendship dialogue. Um, Hermione Granger became their friend and I was like oh that's like really sweet because like most of this book they spent hating her um, and like finally a little more than halfway through they're like she's our friend and it was so cute and then like another example would be them telling Neville that you're worth 12 of, Mal 12 of Malfoy the sorting hat chose you for Gryffindor didn't it and where's Malfoy and stinking Slytherin and I thought that that was so sweet that they were like reassuring Neville that he's worth being in Gryffindor and that they're, he's their friend as well so yeah so I think that that's everything for this video so if you guys liked it I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up left a comment and subscribed to help me grow my channel um, so I'll see you guys in the next one.